All right. Now we're doing free code camp, responsive web design, learn HTML forms by building a registration form. Step 16. All right. So the rim unit stands for root EM and is relative to the font size of the HTML element. As label elements are inline by default, they are displayed side by side on the same line, making their text hard to read. So to make them appear on separate lines, we're gonna add display block to the label element and add a margin of 0.5 rim zero to separate them from each other. All right, so we're gonna have to do some looking up on this one. So first things first, let's go look at this rim thing. Let's say something like this, because look at look here. We're on the CSS page right now. So we're gonna type in CSS units, all right? And for CSS units, we can come down here and we'll see that rim is relative to the font size of the root element, like it said before. Uh, and then M is just relative to the font size of the element. So whatever the font size is, like you see how this uh, E is this height, that's what the E, it, what one EM is, is one uh, E height, I guess we could say. So there's that. And now let's look at the display thing too. So display, display uh, CSS, all right? And so here's the CSS display property right here. And uh, the definition of you and usage of this is the display property specifies the display behavior, the type of rendering box of an element. In HTML, the display property value is taken from the HTML specifications or from the browser user default style sheet. Uh, the default value in XML is inline, including SVG elements. I don't know what any of that means. But uh, basically what it's gonna do is, uh, let's come down here to block. Let's find out, let's find block right here. So it's gonna display an element as an inline level block container. The element itself is formatted as an inline element but we can apply height and width values, not inline block, no regular block, my bad. Uh, well, you just learned about that, hey. Anyway, uh, display, it's gonna display an element as a block element, just like the uh, paragraph. And it starts on a new line and takes up the whole width, okay. So basically, when we do the display block, it's gonna put each one of these on its own line. And then let's look at the margin while we're at it. So CSS margin right here. Ah, uh, and we know what the margin is, but let's come down here to see what happens when there's two uh, things. So here's four. Here's here's four right here. I know there's a two. There's got to be two. Two values right here. So if there's two values, top and bottom margins are the, the first ones, and then right and left are the second ones, all right? So basically, let's get this done. We're going to... Uh, target the label elements by doing the label selector. So let's say label like this, we'll have the curly braces like that. And now we're gonna do the display is now block. So that's gonna put them on each line like it did here. And then we're going to do on the next line, we'll say margin is uh, 0.5 rim and zero like that. So basically it's uh, 0.5 up here. So half of this E, up here and then half of the E down here. So this puts a whole E, so 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 in between each line. Let's take the, let's take this out of here just so we can see what it looks like. So this is what it has with uh, just standard and this is the whole thing right here, right? And if we didn't have that zero, as you can see, it would have the uh, 0 0.5 rim on this side too, right? So there we go, now that's formatted. Let's check the code, looks good and submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 17 and we'll see you next time.